This video is about line. Names of lines with respect to their direction. Horizontal, vertical and diagonal. Types of lines. Line, ray and line segment. First, we are going to discuss line. It has arrowheads at both ends. That means that it extends in both directions infinitely. It can be in any direction. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal. It can be of any length, short, longer, longest. Then there is ray. It only have arrowhead at one end. That means it extends in only one direction. We can draw it like left to right, upwards, downwards or diagonal. It can be of any length, short, longer, longest. Then there is line segment. It has no arrowhead. It has end points at its both ends. That's why it does not have any direction. It can be of any length, short, longer, longest. Now the relation between lines. There are parallel lines. Then there are perpendicular lines and intersecting lines. Parallel lines, what are they? Let's look. Parallel lines are two lines that are always same distance apart and never touch each other. They can be in any direction, horizontal, diagonal or vertical. We can recognize parallel line in 2D shapes as well. In square, they are. In rectangle, they are. And in rhombus, it's like this. It can go in another way as well. You can recognize parallel lines in daily life. They are on roads, even in your dollar knot, or in cricket wickets. There are marks to represent parallel lines. Like if we are having two parallel lines, we can draw short lines on it. That means they are parallel lines. We can draw them on shapes as well. Having same signs on both sides means they are parallel and having two lines means they are parallel to another two lines. Perpendicular lines. A line is said to be perpendicular to another line if the two lines intersect at a right angle. Right angle means having angle of 90 degrees. We can recognize perpendicular lines in 2D shapes like in square, like this, in rectangle, like this, and in rhombus, like this. They all have 90 degree angle. We can recognize perpendicular lines in daily life, in our arms, in clock, in dollar knot as well. We can use marks to represent perpendicular lines. We can draw a small box between them where they are meeting each other. We can use these marks in 2D shapes as well to represent perpendicular lines. We can have them in triangle as well when it's a right angle triangle. Intersecting lines. What are intersecting lines? A line is said to be intersecting to another line 
if the two lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. That means they are going to meet each other which negates the property of parallel lines. They do not form right angle. That means they are not perpendicular. So they can be intersecting lines. Let me ask you a few questions about this. Which of these lines never meet? Yes, parallel lines. Very good. What angle perpendicular lines make? Of course, 90 degree. What is another name of angle 90 degree? Yes, right angle. Perfect. Let's take these lines to the related column. Perpendicular line. Yes, parallel line. Intersecting and this one is also intersecting line. I hope now you will be able to differentiate between parallel lines, perpendicular lines and intersecting lines. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.